All right, thank you, Madi. Voter turnout in the Texas primary runoff and special elections reached record levels in Travis County last night, and a big race near the top of the ticket is now set. This morning, State Senator Royce West conceded to MJ Hagar in the race to take on Republican U.S. Senator John Cornyn in November. And as KVU's Kayla Norwood shows us, it was a close race to win the Democratic nomination. A fight to the end for the Democratic nomination for U.S. Senator, but MJ Hagar came out on top with 52% of the votes. Now that is four percentage points higher than her opponent, State Senator Royce West. Now the two have been battling it out for quite some time now in hopes of taking on Republican U.S. Senator John Cornyn in November. Cornyn is now running for his fourth term, and as the results were trickling in, both candidates made appearances over Zoom. Here's what Hagar had to say before the results came in last night. We're going to do this. We are going to get people access to health care. We're going to get kids out of cages. We're going to do something about the gun violence epidemic. And the group Texans for Senator Cornyn is already going after her, calling her Hollywood Hagar and saying she only won this runoff because of the national Democrats on her side, like Elizabeth Warren and Chuck Schumer. Now, after the results came in, Hagar sent a tweet thanking Texans, saying, quote, I'm so proud to be your Democratic nominee for the U.S. Senate. I won't let you down. Reporting in downtown Austin, Kayla Norwood, KBU News.